Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here, and what I got for you today is a review of the G-Tang T902C. Now this is a little camera quadcopter, as you can tell from the C, but uh, it's a very unusual looking quadcopter. It looks like a flying golf ball, actually. <laughs> a very unusual shape. But again, yes, it's a camera quadcopter. It has a 2 megapixel camera up front. It's micro-sized, um, nice small size, even with the controller. So again, this is one of those little quadcopters that it's intended for you to carry just about anywhere. Uh, it comes with white props in the front and red props in the back, so keep that in mind, folks. Uh, if you're trying to maintain orientation by those props, some beginners might have a little problem with it. But it also comes with a 4 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card, and card reader, which is great. Um, looking in the back, it is does not have a power on off switch. Um, you plug in the battery and the battery is, let's take the battery out and take a look at it just to compare it to others. Hold on folks. It is a little square looking battery, unusual shaped and it is 450 milliamp per hour. So, you know, it's unusual shaped battery. Um, I don't think other micro sized quadcopter batteries can fit in there because look at the length of this thing. It's very relatively short as compared to other quadcopter batteries. So um, you will need to, if you want uh, spare batteries, you're going to need to find a replacement battery from G-Tang probably. <laughs> and hopefully they will come out with them. Um, but again, uh, no on off switch. It's powered on by plugging in the battery. Let's go over the controller before we go out and take off here. Um, it's a basic controller. Upper left button here is for starting and stopping videos. Upper right button is for taking a photo. If you want to change rates, you press into the throttle stick. And if you want to do a flip, you press into the pitch roll stick and then tell it which direction to flip. It does have headless mode, which you activate by pressing what would be normally be the throttle up trim. And it does have one key return, which you would activate by pressing down on what would normally be the throttle down trim. Okay, that's about it. That's a, again, very basic quadcopter with a camera. Let's see how it performs. Starting it up by plugging in the battery. And closing the battery door. See how difficult it is to close the battery door, folks. <laughs> that's one thing about these little ones. When they got battery doors, a lot of times they're kind of difficult to close. You might want to consider modifying them to allow closure or letting the uh, wire stick out but I got the door closed for it so we are good to go it's waiting for my input I'm going to set that direction that tree in the direct off in the distance as the headless mode bearing placing the quadcopter down turning the transmitter on up and down and we're bound starting the video and double checking that the video is recording I see a red light there okay Pressing again, there's a red light in there that indicates that the video is recording. We should be good to go. Let's go up. Nice and stable. Let's trim it. Trim it to the left. And flying by the lights. I hope you see the lights. Good range. Those lights are really high, folks. And this little quadcopter appears to be very high. I better come back down. So, yeah. This might be a little winter here if the camera's good. Relatively stable. <laughs> There's a wind blowing it very slow window today you know one thing I haven't checked though what happens when we lose reception before I go flying too far away I want to double check that so let's land it and we will stop the video at that point you've all seen what the video is like now let's check and see if this has any flyaway issues turn the transmitter back on <laughs> rebinding the quadcopter Give a little power, turn the transmitter off. Those are 1002, it shuts off. And again, let's point back in the direction of the tree to set the headless mode bearing. So the next thing we're going to try out is headless mode. 
Okay, turn the headless mode on right now. Headless mode should be on. And it thinks that's headless mode for direction for some reason. Huh. Okay, well then we'll use that as the headless mode direction and try one key return. Oops. Let's get back to it again. It does appear to be a little bit heavy. Just a bit. Okay. Placing it down there. Let's try calibrating. Seeing if we can change the headless mode direction. No. Still thinks that's the headless mode direction. But again, let's go fly down this way and press the one key return. And here it kind of comes back being blown by the wind. Okay, now it thinks that's headless mode. Let's set it over here. One key return. One key return. One key returns, yeah, coming out of the headless mode. Well, the one key return is kind of iffy. And the headless mode, I don't know, it set that direction for some reason. But the range in this seems to be good. Let's go back up again and try that camera one more time. Oh, we haven't done flips. Bringing it in. It does flips. Let's go to a higher rate. That's expert rate. Beginner rate. Intermediate rate. Maneuverable. Maneuverable little quad. And expert. Expert rate, it can be fast. Okay, back to beginner rate. What I want to do is the camera one more time. Camera on. Intermediate rate, fighting the little breeze we got here. And letting the breeze blow it back. And I'm going to go up higher, past those lights, showing you the city of Ridgecrest. I'm up there, folks. So this thing has good range. I'm surprised because the transmitter only has two batteries. Coming back, Don. My dog sees somebody. Let's go over by my my dogs. Say hello. I don't know what she's barking at. Oh, Walker. Great little quad. Actually, I like this. Good flight time with that battery. Yeah, I'm gonna cut off the video here to say flight power. Let's fly it in close for the remainder of the flight so you can see it. Again, very stable. Stable flyer. Move over here so you don't hear her barking too much. Maneuverable. Should be great indoor outdoor flyer. Oh, 
Long flight time, huh? Oh, there we go. We're getting low. I'm, I'm almost at full throttle right now. Does its lights blink? I don't see any lights, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the flight time. Does this have lights? The night flying? No, I don't see any LEDs. That's the one thing I don't have is LEDs. You notice it gets sluggish when it gets low on, on low power there. But that's the flight of the T902C from G-Tang. A new player in the field has been putting out these little micro-sized quadcopters with cameras. Hope you enjoyed this flight. Quadcopter 101, signing out.